previously on Haunted. Hey, man. Name's over here. <laughs> I haven't seen her smile like that in a long time. But I just need Frank to be okay with it. Then you'll be okay with it. The suspect's name is Simon Dean. Storm's coming, Frank. Lately, I've had this sense of dread, and I just can't shake it. Well, maybe you need to get away from it all for a little while. I don't think that I could get far enough. What are we going to do about that bad feeling your wife's got? Give me a burger. I'll be right there. Okay. Frank? Anna? Dinner? Yeah. Uh, Marcus wants a burger. And um, what are the specials? Beef stew. Is any good? If you like yesterday's pot roast. I'll take a burger, too. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Yes. I'm invincible today. I can feel it. Got a lucky streak going on there, huh? You trying to jinx me, man? No, no, that's right. You know, I won the last five straight. Five straight? No kidding. Come on, Virgin Treasure. Come on, Graceful Betty. Come on, that's it. That's it. That's right. Come on. Come to Papa. Get her to the outside. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on now. Come on. That's it. Run. Yes. My name's Frank Taylor. Herb Kratz, good to meet you. Man is grinning, so he must be winning. Marcus, watch. What? Is this yours? It is now. Drone, it's Frank. Listen, is it too late to change some of my bets here? Cool. Uh, give me Fritz's Folly in the seventh on the nose. High in the saddle in the eighth place. Cheeseburger Bill in the ninth. And... Nightly Ghost in the tenth on the nose. Double all my bets to a thousand and let them ride. <laughs> you heard me, let them ride. I'm gonna eat your lunch the hard way today, huh, Frank? Oh, and uh, Marcus wants you to match all of my bets for him, too. What? Are you freaking crazy? Look, call me back. I can't, it's too late. Barely got it in. Thousand bucks. Come on, Fritzy, run, baby. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, come on Fritzy, Fritzy, run. Come on, Fritzy. Come on now. Come on, get up in there. That's it. Run That's it. Something. She's got. Yes. Yes. Bring it home. She's gonna do it. Look. Look. Yes. 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 Uh, we won. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much? Uh, three thousand bucks. Oh yes. Now, call him back. Cancel the other bets. I want my money. That's no, 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 it. No, no, no. No, you gotta let it ride. Look, look, Frank. Look, I'm grateful and all that, but three thousand dollars. Three thousand really is about to become six, Marcus. On, on. High in the saddle. All she has to do is place. Come on.
I never could pick that last race. Now you tell me. Well, easy come, easy go, eh? Look, I learned a long time ago, if you take it too seriously, the ponies will kill you. Well, I, uh, I hate to tell you this, old buddy, but, um, you bought that round for the house just a little bit too early. Frank! Come here! Frank, get back here! Hey! Two years ago, my son was taken from me. Since then, I've lost everything. My job, my marriage, even my life. But I came back, and the dead came with me. Gotcha. Surprise? I was thinking we should talk. About what? About dating. Other people. Oh. That talk. Okay. We can talk, but if things start getting really sad or uncomfortable, I'm gonna argue. Why? I usually get my way when we argue. So, how's little Kathy Martin? Good. She loves being at her grandparents' place. She says she's already made two new best friends. She's gonna be fine. You saved that little girl's life, you know. She would have died out there in the woods if you hadn't saved her. Kathy's a brave kid. Simon was a cop? Simon Dean? Oh, no, this is something different. It's just an old case I've been working on. Canadian Bureau of Investigation? It's just a background check. So. Who's the guy? His name is Nick. He's been working in the DA's office for a couple of months. Oh, actually, his name is Nicholas Trenton. He's a year younger than me, went to Columbia Law School, votes Republican, comes from old money, drives a Jag, and is in line for a job at the Shepard and Rothman Law Firm in New York. And from what I hear, he mountain bikes like a sissy, too. I'm sorry, I added the sissy mountain biking part. Look, Jess, I'm, I want you to be happy. Really, I do. But I'm not gonna lie, this isn't gonna be easy for me. I feel like a horrible person. Like I'm turning my back on Kevin. First of all, this has nothing to do with Kevin. And no matter where Kevin is right now, he knows you're not giving up on him. You know, when I was so worried about you last week, I spent a lot of time up here thinking about you. And? Look at this place, Frank. Look at what's become of your life. You told me when you were stabbed and you lay dying. You thought you saw Kevin on the other side? Yeah. It's just that wherever Kevin is right now, I refuse to believe that it is a hopeless or dark place. So why would you look for him there? No. Kevin? Whatever happened to you, Frank, isn't a curse. It's a blessing in disguise. You made a huge difference in other people's lives. And you made me realize that there really is evil out there at work in the world. I believe you've become an important part of that fight. Hey. Why did you get so damn smart anyway? Me? Smart? I 
just learned I'm dating a Republican. How very touching. It's too bad she got it all wrong. If you want to catch the bad guys, you gotta live where they live, Frank. Careful. You don't open a door into the past you can't close. Unless you don't mind me opening a door or two into your past. If you touch Jessica. You what? Kill me? Jess got it all right. No matter where Kevin is, he sure as hell isn't where you are. From now on, if you want to talk to me, you're gonna have to lighten up. If I got one of you, you stay out of my past. Still pissed? Come on, you know what they say, easy come, time to go. You owe me $1,257.32. What for? For the grand you bet on my behalf and the round of drinks I bought. Hey, if you're gonna be a big spender, that's not my fault. Well, if you hadn't won 19 grand, I never would have bought the round in the first place. <laughs> $1,257.32. I'll pick up the tab. And the grand. And the grand. But I got this new line on a Philly that's uh -huh. pretty Philly to <laughs> Hey, I'm running a little behind. I got caught up in court, and so I just started. Did you win? Yeah. Good. And we have something to celebrate tonight. And what if I didn't win? Then I'd work very hard to make you feel better. <laughs> Detective Bradshaw? Yes. Which one of you is Detective Bradshaw? I is. Um, thank you for seeing us on such short notice. This is my partner, Frank Taylor. Well, I must say, Mr. Taylor, it's a pleasure to meet the man who finally got Simon Dean. This way. I'm surprised our counterparts in Canada allow the LAPD to reopen the Dean case. I mean, it was a huge thorn in the CBI side. Well, according to the CBI's report, the FBI was also involved in some of Dean's covert activities while he was operating undercover in the U.S. That's correct. Their official disclosure states that from May of 2000 until the time of his death in 2002, Simon became rogue. That's also correct. So basically, he stopped reporting in and melted into the underworld of child pornography here in the U.S. Can you tell us what he was working on? Wait a minute. Can you tell me what you're working on first? Uh, well, we... It's a local thing. Alexei Kuchinkov. Alexei. Yeah. yeah, we thought he was an extremely important lead, too. Agent Dean followed his trail from a relatively small time child pornography ring here in L.A. to a Russian cartel suspected of trafficking in the abduction and sale of children. Well, excuse me, Miss Howard, but I'm not sure I'm following you. Are you saying that Simon wasn't a pedophile? That's exactly what I'm saying. I warned you not to open this door, Frank. But now that you have, remember, it swings both ways. Detective Bradshaw, you coming? Yeah. Did you have that talk with Frank yet? Yeah. How'd it go? 
fine, I guess. You guess? I guess you can say I took it harder than he did. We'll go slow, okay? Sorry. Quite a grip you've got there. Did I ruin your blouse? No, it's okay. I can get it out. I'll be right back. Simon Dean hated pedophiles with a passion. In fact, uh, from the time he disappeared until the time he was killed, over 15 known child molesters were tortured and brutally murdered by him. Vigilante? The speculation is that his frustration with the system and his many years spent deep undercover probably forced him to disconnect with reality. He went insane? In the last communique we received, he referred to himself as the punishment angel. Punishment angel? Never heard of him. According to apocryphal writings, they are the angels who do God's dirty work. The trouble is, he started punishing people who were only suspected of child abuse. We believe he's responsible for the murders of two innocent people. Excuse me. Hello. I warned you, Frank. Who is this? What's the matter, Frank? Don't you recognize the disdain in my voice? I just wanted you to know I won't be home tonight. I've decided to hang out with Nick and Jessica for a while. Or should I say, I've decided to hang out and be Nick for a while. Wait, Simon. It's too late. I'm either gonna punish your little angel tonight. There, better? Much. Hey, Frank, hey, why don't you slow down and tell me what the hell is going on, all right? Jess? Jessica! Frank, what are you doing? Come on, relax. Get on him! Frank! I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Just put it down. And look at her, man. She's fine. Uh, Jessica is fine. Uh, oh, God, what have I done? I want him arrested. I'm pressing charges. You can go home if you stay away from Jess. I've asked for a temporary restraining order. Jess. Please, you don't have to do that. I just want to talk to you. Talk to me? I don't even know who you are anymore. Jess. Jess! Don't just stand there. Open the door. I need your word first. If you go anywhere near her and Nick again, your ass is right back in here. In even bigger trouble than it is now. Marcus, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. The man works for the DA's office, Frank. Marcus, let me out. I'm sorry.
and I'm gonna have to ask you to chill out here for the night. Maybe that green-eyed monster won't look so mean. You think this is just about petty jealousy? Somebody that I love is in danger, and I need to protect them. And somebody I care about needs protection too, Frank. From himself. Front door was open, so I came in. Sorry. Do you mind? I'll be in the other room. <laughs> Have a good night, Frank. I know I will. Simon! Simon! Gus. Gus. Frank, it's Deborah with Little to Mutual calling to this. Hello, Frank. I just wanted to say there's no hard feelings. In fact, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I kind of like laying in the arms of a beautiful woman again. And just so you know, Frank, I had a great night last night. Simon? I want to talk. I know you can hear me. All right. I'll do it. I'll stop. No more background checks. I will not investigate your past. Just don't bother Jessica. Leave her alone. this let the light in thing just a little too literally oh. 
I need you to call Monique Howard over at the FBI and tell her the truth. Yeah, maybe I am crazy, but I want that information that she has on Simon and Alexei Korchenkov, and I want it bad. All right. Thanks, man. Jess. Hi. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. I wanted to make sure everything was OK. You didn't have to do that. You all right? I think so. A little confused, maybe. It's about us? Everything. I'm worried about the fight between you and Frank. And to be quite honest, I think this is going too fast for me. Why? Well, you have to admit you've been more than a little presumptuous lately. Presumptuous? When you just walked into my house and watched me take a shower? Watched you take a shower? My house key is missing from my key ring. Did you take it? Look, I really do want to patch things up with Frank. But if you don't trust me, that's a whole different issue. Maybe we should just stop seeing each other for a while. Nick, wait. Maybe I'm just overreacting. And this whole dating thing is pretty new to me. So maybe we both should chill out. Hello, Frank. Should I call you by your real name this time, Detective Bradshaw? I told you I could explain. Well, for your sake, I certainly hope so. Only one question. Why? I was helping out a friend. He needs the information. No, I told you the other day I can't. It's a classified report. I should call your chief and have you busted down to a school crossing guard. Why would you risk your career like this? Because Frank has risked a lot more than a career for me over the years. Many times. Why would the man who got Simon Dean suddenly want his case reopen? The truth this time. Frank lost his little boy a couple of years ago. Oh. Now, deep down, I think he believed Simon was on to something. Like Korchenkov. He didn't have the name until you gave it to him, but yes. All right, so now with Simon gone, we'll never know what the connection was. Look, I can't always say that I agree with everything Frank does. But you believe in him anyway? We handle things badly. Talk. I am... Uh, not going to press charges. In fact, I, uh, I don't blame you for being so jealous. She's an awesome woman. What can I do for you, Mr. Trenton? Don't worry. Mr. Taylor, I, I didn't come here to make friends. I just came by to tell you that I know the score. Jess has told me about Kevin. And I know how she feels about you. I just wanted you to know that I plan to make sure when I'm with her tonight, she whispers my name, not yours. Simon. This is a test. Please, don't hit me. I'll leave. Look, Nick, it's not you. I guess I can't help myself. I'm a little overprotective when it comes to Jess. A little? You're freaking dangerous, man. Psycho. Well, maybe you should think about getting some help. You know a good exorcist? Look, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know what you're trying to do here, and I respect it. It took a lot of guts to come over here. We're cool. Really. You know what the problem is, Frank? You're still trying to find redemption in your work. 
yeah. It's enough to make a sane man crazy. But then, I guess you'd know all about that, wouldn't you, Simon? Be careful, Frank. You forget I've seen your soul. You hate them as much as I do. You and I are cut from the same cloth. I didn't torture and murder innocent people. You can't save them all. She was gone before the story hit the newspaper. But together, you and I can make the bastards pay for what they've done. You want me to do what you did? Oh, the only fair justice is swift justice. If that was Kevin's picture in there, would you turn the other cheek? I can help you use your power, Frank. I can help you find Kevin. Here's the FBI info you requested on Simon Dean this morning. This morning, Frank, we had a deal. The price was too high. Yeah, you have no idea how high it's gonna be. Simon, wait! Jess, it's Frank. Frank, I'm not talking to you. No, wait, don't hang up on me, please. What do you want? Is Nick there? That is none of your business. Jess, just answer me one question. Does Nick act strangely sometimes, like he's not himself? What do you mean? He's different, cold. You don't understand it, but you can, you can see it in his eyes. It's, and you feel like you can't trust him. He scares you. Frank, I'm not gonna play jealous games with you. It won't work. Jess, on Kevin's life, I swear to God, I'm telling you the truth. What did you say? On Kevin's life, I'm telling you, you're in danger. Nick is not who you think he is. Jess, get out of the house. Just grab your keys and get to the car. Do you hear me? Run! Jess. Jess! Frank get married in a church, Jess? How perfect. How sentimental. Take me there. Now! Listen to me. In fact, she's dying to see it again. I must admit, Frank, I like your style. We would have made a great team. What are you gonna do, Frank? Shoot an innocent man? The poor bastard thinks he's having a bad dream.
Where is she? Patience, Frank. You need me. You need me if you want to find her. You need me if you want to find Kevin. And you know it. I don't need you. I've got Alexei Korchenkov now. Where did you get that name? Unless I'm wrong, Simon, he's the guy that you were gunning for when I threw your ass off that roof. He's the connection, isn't he? He's the bastard that stole my son. You'll never know about Kochenkov, Frank. Not if I get to him first. What happened? You really want to get into that, Nick? Or do you want to think about maybe taking that job offer in New York? New York? Oh, my God. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Casey. It's OK. It's over. I don't think Nick's going to be bothering you anymore. Marcus, we need to get to Alexei Korchenkov. Press Agent Hauer, whatever it takes, we need to get to him right now. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're sure it's him? It's him. Alexei Kurchenko. I'm sorry, man. Suicide? Only if he decided to smash through the window first. Somebody tossed him. <laughs> <laughs> 